Firecall just launched a open source lovable and it looks pretty interesting. I mean, you can see a bit of it in this video that Nick posted on which he uses the Firecall landing page and based off of that website, it generates a new one. So if you've never been to Firecall's landing page, this is what it looks like. The main idea of this project isn't to exactly steal a website's template or everything. It's actually to use it as a basis for you to iterate and actually produce your own results. And you can see that right here in this result that Nick gets to way over, I think here, where he selected it to be a new brutalism version of the Firecall website and it looks pretty awesome. You can then even iterate through the chatbot over here so that you get to the result that you expect. In this video, let's go through how you can install this project and have a open source lovable working in your own computer. So let me head down here, click on the GitHub link. It takes me to this page where I can click on code and you can either open it up in GitHub desktop or clone it to your own computer or download it as a zip file. I'll just open up my terminal, head over to documents and inside of the documents, I can just paste that git clone command in there. So let me first copy it, paste it in there, hit enter and wait for it to clone everything. Okay, now it seems like everything is already cloned. So let me see the open lovable. Now that I'm inside of that directory, let me open it up using cursor. So code space dot. The first thing I want to do is create a dot env file. This dot env file should contain whatever is in here. So copy that over there, save the dot env and now let's fill in all the API keys. Not all of them, there are some optional ones here, but you have to select at least one. The one I'll select is the Grok API key, which will use the Kimi K2 model. Let me comment out all the other ones, save that, head over to Firecall, get inside of my dashboard, go over to the API key section and create a new API. So Firecall, lovable, hit create, and now I can copy that env and paste it in here. Another required API key is the eb2.dev. Let's head over to that website, sign in with whichever email you have. You'll get up to $100, I believe, in credits for you to use uh, completely for free. And by the way, inside of Firecall, you can also get 500 credits to start and test this out for free. As soon as you're inside of the E2B dashboard, go over to API keys, generate a new key. So fur crawl lovable, hit enter, and now grab that key, head back to your .env file and paste that in there. Now the only thing missing is the Grok API key for that just head over to Grok. And it's not this Grok right here, it's actually Grok with a Q. As soon as you create your account, or if you already have one, go over to console.grok.com slash keys, create a new API key. So fur crawl slash lovable, submit, grab that key as soon as it appears and just paste it back inside of our .env file. With all this done, open up your terminal and here you'll type in npm space i and as soon as you do that, it'll start installing all the packages necessary to run the project. This should be pretty fast and as soon as it's done, you can just type in npm run dev, uh, wait a moment and it should open up inside of localhost 3000. Head over there and now you should see this interface. In here, you can type in the website that you want to use as basis for your own website, as well as select the LLM that you want to use. Since we're using Grok, let's stay with Kimi K2 Instructs. And now let me use a website reference, which will be kit.com. I just really enjoy this website. It looks perfect. Like everything is where it needs to be. The space, like the white spaces are perfect. The font is pretty neat. The colors, I mean, I love this website. So let's use it as the underlying website to build the rest of our own website. Let's also select Neo Brutalist because it's a style that I really enjoy. And now to add more specific details, let's not have it create exactly what kit is because if we leave it vague like this, it'll just create the same exact thing. But I want my website to be a landing page for an AI automation agency. Let's see what it generates for us. So just hit enter and wait for a bit. Soon enough, you'll see this going on, which I believe is Firecrawl basically uh, going over to the website and actually like visually uh, seeing everything and now it's actually producing the code. If nothing happens, go over to your terminal, like back in your terminal, either inside of cursor or if you ran the terminal outside of cursor, check it to see what's going on there because maybe it got stuck at some point because I mean, this is open source. 
a lot of things is going on. They want to move fast. They want to build things fast. And meanwhile, you end up breaking things and that's pretty normal. But just by making this open source is pretty interesting. So this is the first version. Like, let's take a look at this. It ends up using the actual images from the website. So if you drag this website over to a tab, you'll notice that it's using media, kit.com, you'll likely not want to continue using those exact images, but for now it works pretty fine as a placeholder. I really enjoyed this nav bar up here since inside of kit, the nav bar is different and they adapted it in a pretty nice way to ensure that it uses neo brutalism. Down here, build a business with purpose. It understood what I meant about AI automation agency did it. So AI agency kit, it's, it maintained the kit name, start free trail button, pretty neat. Every email is impactful creators who mean business. So the name is still maintained and it took a lot of context about creators since kit is focused on creators. This already makes things much, much faster. And if you click on this button right here, you can, you'll be able to actually visualize the entire website as if it were already deployed. And because of this, you can actually open that website in your phone to check how compatible it is with mobile. I honestly just prefer coming over to the inspect element and toggling this, but you'd find some front end developers that would disagree with me. Now, I just wouldn't use this to create my own projects because it builds everything using Vite and I much prefer using everything already created inside of Next.js. It is easy to transition, but I mean, if I can just ask Cursor to use Firecrawl's MCP and grab all the context from the website that I want, it's I feel like it's more integrated with my own system. But the beauty of open source is that more people can join in and iterate on the project to make it actually produce production ready level projects. It was just recently published and it has up to 6.9 thousand stars inside of GitHub. And I really hope that mine's is the 7,000 it actually was. Yeah, I promise that wasn't something I engineered even because if I toggle it off, maybe it's because someone just now started and now it's up to 7,000, but that was pretty nice. And now let me test it one more time, creating it with a different UI. So for that, let me just refresh this place in kit. And now let's choose glass morphism, which is another UI that I enjoy a lot. Let's just hit enter and have it create with whichever text that kit already has. It'll be like a different version of the kit landing page. Okay, and this is what was generated. Uh, this is quite small. So let's actually ask it to make all the, these images bigger. So all I typed in is please make sure the images from inside of the every email is impactful section are bigger. Okay, it went inside of creators.jsx and actually made them a bit bigger. Yeah, it's nice that it didn't exaggerate and make them like two pictures per column. And it actually made that change pretty fast. That is it for today. If you check out this project and actually build something cool, please let us know down in the comment section. If this video helped you at all, feel free to leave a like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. I'm now deleting all of my API keys that I've just created and I'll see you in the next video. Till then.